I have just realised the Defender can start in first gear. No clutch. It's probably not good for it. And... She's off. She's basically an automatic. Will this be the final time I chase sheep off of the barley? Nope. I bloody hope so. Good morning. By the way, anyone who's not subscribed, just subscribe. Just click. Job done. YouTube, Cropper's Farm. Happy days. Right, let's do some work. You guys who watch um, other farmers down in England, you can really see how far behind Scotland is, like weather wise. Like, it's just the same every year. But this is a field of wheat, really well established. And that's just, this is just where it is. Just because it's a warmer climate down there. The reason I say it is this is going to be the last time, fingers crossed because um, there's a fence right down the middle of the field now so I'm going to chase all these sheep which are currently running towards a hole up that direction to escape push them through this gate, shut the gate and they shouldn't be able to get this side the guys haven't finished this but they've made it stock proof there's a couple of bits where they still need to put spurs in to fill gaps and there's another wee bit of fence to do but it's, it's, it should hold back the sheep oh what a tidy job, nothing better than a new fence Look at that, oh, beautiful. B-E-A-U-tiful. Still got all the top wire to do, it'll be electric, so I need insulated from the posts. Dig down, bury the electric, and bring it up on the other side again, and then they're gonna do from that corner, away along the bottom here, up round that wood and along the top, and then that's this section, ready for coups. Predictions, will they go through the bandits? One thing I never really show you is a quad bike. It's a Can Am 400, 400 cc Can Am, and it is awesome. Fully automatic. No idea what year it is. Not a Scooby. Bomb proof. Goes everywhere. It does everything you want it to. They're heading towards the gate. Happy days. The last couple are just coming along now. Just like that. There's the post chaffer machine. Is this the last time? I hope so. That's their tracked post chaffer machine. They must have more than one. I'm sure it was a different one that was here the last time. Don't know for certain, but anyway. Good piece of kit, low disturbance on the ground. See, there's not really much of a mess compared to when we were taking out bushes with the tractors and whatnot, made a lot more mess. Everything's hydraulically controlled. You can see the levers there. Those will control your vertical, it'll shift this way, that way, it'll obviously control the weight block. I think the bed might slide back and forward and in and out. Must do. Is that me free of sheep? <sighs> There's that big water drop between there and up here. They've just chucked a few posts and a bit of railog to stop the sheep just now. But they're going to post and rail that. I did ask them whether they could just net it, but if they put a strainer there, a strainer there, because it's such a short distance, a tiny bit of movement in the strainer and the tension is just gone. Whereas over a long distance, to tension it, you've got to shift it quite far. So you've got a lot of movement before it loses tension. Like if you imagine you've got a tiny wee bit of elastic band and you pinch each end with your hand, you don't need to pull it very far until it goes tight. Whereas if you've got a long piece of elastic band, you need to pull it really quite far until, until it reaches the same tension. If that makes sense. Another wee heifer. Cow's doing wonders, straight in, licking it. It's already tried to get on its feet, it's doing well. I'll leave it to it. Navel sprayed. <laughs> so, this fence is coming down. We'll do it the quick way. Yeah, go and check that's not stuck to my tire. <laughs> Tell you what, that's how you remove a fence with a Land Rover Defender. Master of all jobs. Gate lady's just gonna go down and ease the posts out. This is the first time she's driven it, so good luck to her. I'm gonna take all the staples out. I think she might quite enjoy that machine. She's getting the hang of it. Won't be too long till her skill levels are slightly above mine. Wouldn't be hard. Steady does it. Steady does it. Go on. And up. 
Oh, that one's gone. Ping, ping, ping. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Leave that one. Go on. He's going to be goose when he climbs up this hill. Oh. Good boy. Is it a bit steep? Sit. Out of beans. Out of beans. Come on in. Eight lady trying to pick up her first stone. There you go. Like a dream. Now she's going to whip it up and plonk it on the verge. Easy peasy. Hey! Good! Here come the squad. Get them trained up. Good operators. It's barbed wire. Go and get that one. Someone get that one quick. Right, there you go. Put that in the pile. Between you two, you need to pull that post out and put it in the pile. Can both of you do it? Go on. Big heave. Muscles. Muscles, come on, big heave. There you go, that's it, that's it. Keep going. Come on, you're almost there. Up, you need to go up the way. That's it, that's it. Now put it in the pile. One of you take that one. One of you take Papa's one. You take that one, Freddy. Way! <laughs> Count! Okay, ladies in the far left collecting posts with Dad. I'm just leveling off this bit where the gosh bush got ripped out. I've left Gate Lady plenty of room. Come on. So they won't be happy with the room I've left. There she goes. We're just about done done this bit of fence. The sheep have got through already. Ah, oh, that'll be why. I didn't shut that gate. Come on, come on, follow your pals. Right, if they all go, surely this one follows. Oh no, no! Just follow your pals, come on. There you go. Oh, I need a run up at this bit as well. <laughs> Struggling a wee bit for grip here. Trying to get up some hills. Ooh, oh, I'm glad. It's in gear, shouldn't move. That's amazing. Is that heat? No, it's not, it's not hot, but it's warm. You can see the steam coming off it. I am getting up this hill. I just about got to the peak of it and then I just lost traction. Slid all the way down again. Come on, Come on you bandits. No, don't you turn around on me. God's sake! When I sat there for a bit of a joke and span round and round and round, all the grooves in the tyre filled with grub. It's like driving on slicks. My low box doesn't seem to be working very well. There they go. Now, I'll shut the gate this time. The longest, wettest bit is up here. Let's see how I can negotiate this. I think I'm going to try and nail it over to there. There's a bit of a flat point there. This is really struggling now. I've caked the wheels full of grub. Whoa, come on! Keep going, keep going! Nip out over here. Oh, yes. Also, if someone can help me, I don't think my low range works. Here you go. Get it in properly. If you can hear that, it does work. It just sounds horrific. Full speed ahead. Hey, let's go bigger. <laughs> there we go. Hey, right, go for it. Go, 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 go. Woo! Yay. Right here with Mike Boyd. Mike, go on. Tell us a bit about your YouTube. Um, I've got a YouTube channel about learning new skills. I can do this all day, to be honest. This is better posture than I have at my desk. Right, so I've got it. Oh my God, that was perfect. That was perfect. <laughs> He's got a proper vehicle anyway, to suit the farm. 
this is his toy. It's looking damn shiny, that's for sure. I'm getting that a good wash. First time in a while. Today, we're going to learn to drive this. Uh, just to give you an idea how big this is. Mike's 5'6". Five, 5'6 six. Five, six on a good day. On a good day? What? Today's a good day. What? <laughs> no, today's a bad day. <laughs> yeah, I've never driven a tractor. Crawford's going to show me how it works. And um, we're going to do um, the smallest skill that you could consider farming. Yeah, we're going to get him to reverse a tractor and trailer that he's never done before, hopefully into that shed without wiping it out. And also R&R &R Machinery, big thanks, they got me a boiler shit to give to him, so he's going to wipe that R&R &R Machinery, wrapped in the brand. So does a tractor, they, but it, it, that doesn't match the tractor you're going to be driving. But when I'm driving a Fed tractor, mm -hmm. it's always an R&R &R Fed tractor. An R&R, &R. you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> This episode of Learn Quick, I'll be learning to reverse a trailer driving this. Let's do that again just because I. We're getting him fully kitted out. <laughs> Wellies, boiler shit. I think it's too big. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you do look like a kid. <laughs> Tractor! We're about to get the, the famous line. <laughs> this is day one, hour zero. Mike's first time driving a tractor. Although he, he plays farming simulator, so he claims he knows how to drive a tractor. I've told him just to give it beans in here, and then once he's comfortable on the tractor, we're going to put the trailer on, and he's going to learn to reverse it. And the, the grand plan is, with the video, he's going to try and reverse through that doorway without obviously wiping out the shed. Otherwise, he's sacked. How's your um, experience so far, Mike? I was tough to get that. Lining up the eye, that yeah, was a wee bit not. tricky, but only second attempt. Second attempt, yeah, to be fair. I lied about seeing the video, seeing the first attempt, so just guessing. Mike's a wee bit vertically challenged, so looking over the seat and seeing down to the hook on the eye was a wee bit tricky. But everything's so hard. <laughs> Mike's first attempt at reverse and he's getting it on fairly well, slow and steady. I'm going to go and get some obstacles, some bales for him to reverse into. If you've not seen his videos before, he does, he just learns new skills and makes a video of it. He's been doing it for quite a while and uh, he's, he's like big time YouTube. Just search Mike Boyd and he'll pop up. We've simulated the shed door, that shed door over there, and then um, he's, he's made the shed door wider. He's not taking any paint off yet. We've headed over to the shed. He's gonna give it a crack. He was kind of pretty much getting the hang of it out there. I filled up with wheat actually, so he's gonna go in. Well, he's gonna try and go in, and then once he gets in, tip it, and that'll be it. Job done. Job done, Mike is away. Video filmed. Massive thanks to Mike and Kim for coming out. Sound as a pound, both of them. So if you've not already, go and subscribe to Mike Boyd on YouTube. I'm not going to be able to make a massive difference in their subscribers, but every little helps. And depending on how it goes, we might get him out again at harvest time. I've put his link down there to his videos. Go and watch a few. They are really good, some of them. Some of them? <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Uh, cheers for watching. See you tomorrow. Guess who just got hey. there today? Bang on the money.